Welcome to T.H. Harris Middle School, home of the Raiders. Middle school is different than an elementary school because middle school is where little kids start to become young adults. Sometimes when you first get to middle school, it's a little scary. Just know that everybody's in the same position you're in. It's a challenge making that transition from fifth grade to sixth grade. But I think like with everything, with a positive attitude and following instructions and listening to your teachers, it'll be fine. T.H. Harris is confusing at first. So I'm sure you'll have your teachers the first day of school, they'll give you an introduction about where everything is and you'll get used to it. By the second nine weeks, you'll be smooth sailing. There's a lot more kids in each class than you're probably used to. So a lot of people don't want to talk to you. Uh, when you're supposed to be quiet. Since in fifth grade, we've probably been in the same class with the same kids since kindergarten, but now all of a sudden it's like all these elementary schools are merging, so you get to meet new people, um, new experiences. Um, you get introduced to a lot of new people, so you have an opportunity to make a lot of new friends. Plus, our principal, Miss Hubbard, really likes to support the sixth graders to get them to win everything. I think I see a little favoritism there, I'm just saying. Sports, a lot of elementary schools don't have those basketball teams and the football teams and the track, so that's something to look forward to for sixth grade for sure. They have uh, breakfasts for honorable students, so students, if they behave, pass their tests, they're going to have something called a test fest or a test day and they'll get to go enjoy themselves after they take their exams. The funnest part about sixth grade is having me as a teacher. The most fun part about sixth grade are when kids get it, when they're working together and they're being kind to one another and you see those light bulb moments go off where real learning is taking place and real growth as human beings. RTI is response to intervention, and it is a time when teachers examine data, and we try to figure out maybe what you need more work with or more help with, and so we find a way to help you with that. RTI is a chance for teachers to help remediate students who might need help. We want to help kids before it, things get to a problem. So intervention helps us to see where a weakness might be and we're gonna help students correct the weakness before we start to get bad grades. We find the problem first and come up with a solution. It's about 29 minutes and we either will we'll cover one of the subjects, either English, math, social studies, or science. It's just what you get the extra help. We do it three days a week. Bring a darn pencil, okay? A pencil. That's all we ask, really. You show up with a pencil, you show up with some paper. We're happy. Be very nice to your teachers. <laughs> Definitely making sure that you follow whatever your teacher asks you to do. We don't want to fail you, but we do need you to follow our directions so that you can pass the year. Listen. Listen and read everything you get, you're given. You have to read first. The number one person who should take care of you is you. Take time to do your study and take time to do your homework. I think the best way to be successful as a sixth grader is to come to class every day understanding that you can do it. You may need to go ask the teacher for help even though you're very scared. Because it's kind of scary going to an adult and saying, 
I don't understand. You know, it's embarrassing, but teachers want to know that you want to learn and they want to help you. And if you just like talk to your teachers, talk to the counselor, talk to your parents, and let people know what the problems are, um, so most of the time it's an easy fix. And we got your, got your back. It's probably better for you to take whatever your teacher says. If you get in trouble, just take what they're gonna give you. Even if you don't agree with it, you can have a discussion about it later, but arguing in front of the class is not the way to go. It will just make it worse. For me, the best part is seeing the little kids that come in at the beginning of the year and then marching them out the door at the end of the year as young adults 